Today we get to answer one of the cosmic questions that have hounded a lot of car buyers. No, it's not the answer to world peace or whether I should do TikTok or not. Rather, it's a question that's been posted on a lot of automotive social media sites and that's whether to go with the old reliable or gamble with a newcomer. Japan or China? Honda or Geely? Or in this case, black or white? Well, in this video, we get to find out. Let's do this. In the white corner, fighting from Hangzhou, China, the challenger, the upstart, Gili Ascara, four-wheel drive hybrid. In the black corner, fighting from Japan by way of Thailand, the reigning compact crossover champion of the world, Honda CRV S Diesel 980. Are you ready to rumble? Hello, fight fans. I'm Reagan, and today we have one of the most anticipated comparos in the local market. This is pretty much at the same level as a Pacquiao and Mayweather fight. These two compact crossovers will duke it out in a no holds barred, mano a mano fight for crossover supremacy. We will gauge these two fighters according to the following categories exterior looks, interior build quality of materials, tech features, practicality in terms of usable space, drive performance, and finally, price with a cost of ownership consideration. Now, with so many compact crossovers out in the local market, why pit these two contenders against each other? Well, guys, we got some pretty interesting comparisons right here. One's a diesel, the other is a petrol hybrid. One's an established contender, while the other is an upstart with all the flash and bang that you can get in social media. One's from Japan, the other is from China. So it will be quite interesting to see how these two compact crossovers will match up. Anyway, let's begin. Both crossovers are handsome in their own right and looks can be quite subjective. However, when you take a look at the Honda CRV, you can't help but think that it looks like the CRVs from five years ago. Honda stuck with its proven looks through the years and it looks like its age is creeping up to it. Well, granted, there is a refresh coming up soon, but even that updated model looks a little bit too much like the CRVs of old. The Ascara, on the other hand, looks like some of the SUVs that are offered from Volvo. It's no surprise really because, well, Geely owns Volvo. It exudes a European vibe despite its Chinese roots. The Ascara also seems to have a little bit more road presence than the CRV with its squared off shoulders here and its large expanding Cosmos front grille. For round one, exterior looks, I will give it to the Geely Ascara. It's fresh, it's stylish, and it has an upscale vibe. Despite being a relative newcomer in the local car market, I feel that this exterior looks will age pretty well given its sleek European design. Now if there's a word to describe the CRV's interior, that would be familiar. The quality of materials used are decent. The fit and finish is also quite good. You've got nice supple leather seats here and a nice leather wrapped steering wheel as well. But you've got some faux wood trim here on the dashboard and your door panels that may not sit well with some people because it gives off that mature vibe. So it might not sit well with some of the younger crowd of buyers. Now another thing that I don't really get with the CRVs, at least here in the Philippines, is this uh, shift button area here in the middle. You, this is uh, Honda's take of adding a touch of modernity in their cabins. But honestly, why change something that already works when you have your traditional gear shifter that works in so many cars, yeah? So overall, the cabin materials is quite decent, it's quite good. But let's see, let's go over to the Ascara and see how it compares versus the CRV's cabin. Wow! 
I'd have to call it already, guys. I mean, the Ascara's interior and cabin materials is head and shoulders above that of the Honda CRVS. Instead of getting like a faux wood trim or plastic inserts or stuff like that, your lower dashboard and door panel inserts, well, you get Napa leather. You heard it right, guys. This is Napa leather. Your seats are also for finished in Napa leather, which is softer and more supple than the ones that are found in the Honda CRV. Build quality and fit and finish is also way up there. It's really fantastic. It's not really something that you'd expect to see in a car that everyone knows is built in China. But my goodness, the build quality and cabin materials here rivals that of the cabins that are found in some European vehicles already. So when it comes to uh, interior quality of materials and the uh, build quality, that round automatically goes to the Gili Ascara, guys. This is fantastic. The CRV is now down two to none, and as we move on to the tech features round, it seems like it's really in big trouble. It does its best to duke it out against the Ascara with its fully digital instrument gauge panel here and a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now, this infotainment system also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are huge pluses for the Honda CRV. You also get a rear view camera as well and a nifty little camera at the right side mirror that will give you a view whenever you do your blind spot turn-ins. However, you'll have to make do with manual power operations all, with all the other features like your manual operated seats and you also get a manual lift gate in the CRV. And let's not mention the fact that this Honda CRV S does not get a panoramic sunroof. Now let's head over to the Ascara and let's see what kind of tech features it can dish out. Oh boy, <laughs> the CRV is in big trouble now, guys. I mean, this is the tech features round and the Ascara truly brought it on. The Ascara also has this fully digital instrument gauge display here that changes in design and theme depending on what drive mode you're in. And yes, this Ascara also has multiple drive modes. You got your eco mode, your uh, sport mode, and even an off-road mode for your all-wheel drive system. Now, aside from that digital instrument gauge panel, you also have a 12.3-inch LED touchscreen display here for your infotainment system which completely demolishes the 7-inch touchscreen display that's found in the Honda CRVS. This is also a better definition in terms of uh, picture quality and it also has a 360-degree view camera which completely bests the rear view camera that's found in the CRVS. This 360-degree view camera as well has that uh, drone's eye view mode that I really love about this Ascara. Now, aside from that, you also get a wireless charging pad right here at the bottom, and you've got really fantastic switch gear as well. Now, did I also mention that this Ascara comes in with a panoramic sunroof? So yes, when it comes to the tech features round, this GD Ascara has delivered a knockout punch against the Honda CRVS diesel. With a commanding 3-0 lead, the Gili Ascara seems to have its cake cut out for it. But in the practicality and usable space department, well, this is still just a five-seater, so passenger capacity is quite limited. Granted, the back seat is quite roomy and spacious and even more luxurious than the CRVS diesel, but there's nothing luxurious about carrying a sixth and seventh passenger on your lap while you're going for a ride. Now, in terms of trunk capacity, well, the Geely Ascara may have a power lift gate, but it can only accommodate 320 liters of trunk space, which is still smaller than even the smaller subcompact Geely Cool Ray Sport. This 320 liter capacity is uh, compromised by the fact that you've got your hybrid battery tucked in underneath the, the trunk, which actually compromises on your actual trunk space. 
Now let's check out the CRV. The CRV has gobs more space owing to its larger dimensions. It's longer and wider than the Geely Ascara, so that explains why you've got a lot more interior space. You're also not limited to just having five seats because you've got an extra two seats on the third row. Granted, the third row seats are really made for kids or smaller humans, but that's still two more than what you can find in the Geely Ascara. The Honda CRV is also superior when it comes to its trunk capacity. It's got 472 liters of space versus the paltry 320 liters that can be found in the Geely Ascara. So if you're the type of driver who will be regularly hauling a lot of stuff or will be ferrying more than five passengers, well then the Honda CRV is the obvious choice for you. So when it comes to practicality and usable space, I give this round to the Honda CRV. Now it's time to take both of these crossovers out for a drive just to see how they stack up against each other. Let's start with the Geely Ascara. The Ascara's heft and build quality truly shines but it comes at the price when it comes to driving performance. This uh, Ascara is powered by a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder turbo uh, petrol engine with a mild hybrid system and it's good for 190 horses and 300 newton meters of torque. Now despite this uh, increase in power versus its CRV competitor, this Ascara is still 110 kilos heavier than the CRV and that weight factor plays a big difference in its driving performance. Somehow, even if you put it on sport mode, the added half of the all-wheel drive system and the mild hybrid system really makes it feel that it doesn't accelerate as quickly, as aggressively as the CRV is. Uh, it doesn't really feel like it's wa it wants to get hurried, you know, it doesn't feel like it's in a hurry. It just, <laughs> it's still decent. I mean, it's not really a slouch, but it's not really mind-blowing as well. I'm currently in sport mode now, and this Ascara, you know, when I step on the pedal, it takes a little bit of time for it to gather up some speed. And I guess that's really the weight factor playing a big difference here. Now when it comes to its fuel economy, the Ascara is helped by its mild hybrid system despite being, well, a petrol engine. It could still do around 9 kilometers per liter in the city and around 20 kilometers per liter in the highway. Now that's not as good as the one that we can find in the Honda CRV or even other hybrid cars out there, but uh, given its heft and its size, it's pretty decent after all. It just goes to prove guys that well, weight really plays a huge factor when it comes to a vehicle's driving performance and that's why despite having a higher power output than the CRV, well the Ascara doesn't really feel as fast when it comes to acceleration off the line. Now let's hop over to the CRVS and see how it stacks up in terms of driving performance versus this Geely Ascara. The Honda CRVS diesel has a 1.6 liter turbo diesel engine that may seem to be a little bit on the small side when it comes to engine displacement, but it packs a healthy 300 Newton meters of torque. Its horsepower rating is also a little bit down, which is at 120 horses, but it does feel a little bit lighter and quicker on its feet when it comes to its acceleration and actual driving performance when you compare it to the Ascara. That's owed mainly to the fact that the CRV is lighter and also has a front wheel drive configuration, so that makes it a little bit quick off the line. The CRV also has a sport mode, which is a lot more aggressive than the sport mode that's found in the Geely Ascara. This should help you with a lot of those highway passing maneuvers or if you're climbing steep roads and you're carrying a full load. In terms of fuel economy, well the CRVS diesel also packs a solid punch. In city driving, you could go as much as 10 kilometers per liter and in highway driving, you could reach 24 kilometers per liter if you're driving with a light foot. Now if that's not a knockout, I don't know what is. So given the driving dynamics, handling performance, and stellar fuel economy of this Honda CRVS, I'll give the driving performance win to the Honda CRV.
When it comes to price, the Geely Azcara severely undercuts the Honda CR-V S diesel. This top spec Azcara comes in at a hair below 1.6 million Philippine pesos, which is 270,000 pesos cheaper than the Honda CR-V S diesel, which is priced at 1,868,000 Philippine pesos. Now, given that this Geely Ascara also comes with the same feature set that's found in the top-of-the-line CRV SX all-wheel drive, well, that makes it an even greater value. So, when it comes to the price category, it's quite easy to hand over the win to the Geely Ascara. Or is it? While the Honda CRV S diesel may be more expensive than that of the Geely Ascara, let's all remember the fact that the price of diesel at the pump is cheaper than gasoline, at least here in the Philippines. The CRV S diesel also has a more frugal engine given its lighter weight and its front wheel drive configuration versus the Ascara's all wheel drive. And let's not mention the fact that, well, we don't even know how much it would cost us to replace that battery that's found in the mild hybrid system of the Ascara versus the proven maintenance and reliability of a diesel engine that's found in the CRV S. So while the Ascara has a lower price point, well, given the fact that the CRVS diesel would probably be easier to maintain and has lesser question marks in terms of future um, maintenance costs, well, the CRVS diesel has managed to eke out a draw in the price category with cost of ownership consideration. Well, fight fans, after a grueling six-round fight, the Ascara has emerged as the clear winner in this compare with its lethal combination of high-tech features and luxury appointments at an affordable price point. It's clearly for people who value their ride comfort and a lot of amenities without breaking the bank. However, it takes quite a bit of guts to bet on an upstart, especially when it comes to long-term reliability and defeating that China-made stigma. The Honda CRV is still a viable option, especially for people who need more than five seats in their comfortable crossover. Plus, you've got that solid nameplate of Honda backing you up, and it's riding on proven diesel technology. The CRV has enough features and creature comforts to give you a comfortable ride. However, it truly falls short when you compare it to the Geely Ascara. Once again, thank you guys for watching one of my Comparo videos. If you like this Comparo, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, guys. I hope this helps you with your car buying choices. And if it does, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to Reagan's Rides. If you're a subscriber already, thank you very much for watching my videos. I'm Reagan. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.